Okay, so I have buyers who are putting in offers left, right, and center, and they are getting outbid on everything. What advice would you be giving them right now? Hi, I'm Michelle Chidwick. And I'm Jesse Chidwick. And we're with Team Apex Real Estate, and today we're gonna answer your burning real estate questions. One thing to note, entry level of the market, whether it's up or down, it's usually competitive. There's always kind of a demand to get into the market. But let's chunk this down and try to make some sense of it. So, number one, if they are entry level products, you're probably getting duped by what's called a marketing price, okay? What that means is the list price of the property is $699. However, when you start to chunk down the solds, it's actually closer to let's say 750 and 800,000. So what's happening with that marketing price is you're driving a lot of traffic, buyers thinking, hey, I can get this with my budget of 700. Maybe it's a little bit negotiable at 690, 695. However, there's only one property up for sale, probably minimal inventory. They're doing an offer presentation. They're gonna deal with the highest and best offer on the table at that given time. And if your budget's 700, odds are it's not gonna be you. Yeah, even as like a real life example here, there was a property recently in New Tecumseh, mm -hmm. detached home, a little bit older, but listed for 499. The amount of traffic that was at that property um, showed it during the open house. I've never seen a busier open house in my entire life because $4.99 for a detached property in a great town, brought in so many potential buyers, property ended up getting almost 30 offers and sold for $720,000. The last recent sale sold for $720,000. So it's not like it went very far off from what the actual value of the house was. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and you know, $4.99, you know, in Ontario, really what it's selling for that particular price point. It's just, it's just not in the cards. It's a very attractive list price. So some things to consider if this is happening to you. Sit down with your agent, go grab a coffee, go for dinner, grab some lunch. Get your agent to open up their laptop and show you what's actually happening in the marketplace. Something that we like to do is we take the last 30 days. So if our guys have a budget of 750 and under, we punch in their criteria, three bedroom, three bath, finished basement. What has sold in the last 30 days? Go through it as if they were looking at it on their own. Is these properties something that you would consider? If they're not, well, then we have to adjust our criteria, find a way to get more money, or change geographic locations. Yeah, I think that you nailed the... Uh nailed it on the head there, that if what is selling in your price range isn't what you want, either adjust your expectations, um, bring them a little bit back down to reality, or get mom and dad to give you more money if that's an option, or move 10 to 15 minutes outside your zone. If you look at, say, Orangeville, Shelburne, Grand Valley, they're all within 15 to 20 minutes of each other, but the average price between each location can be drastically different. For instance, average price in Orangeville right now might be 850. Shelburne, we've got about 750. So that's $100,000 and only 15, 20 minutes of space. So if you're willing as a first time home buyer to move that 15 minutes, 20 minutes north, you can probably get what you're looking for.